Goody Perkins. Mr. McRaith. How are we feeling, Goody Perkins? I'm feeling guilty. What about you? I hope you're sleeping, for I am not. Worry for the future. Worry for the past. But I take solace in my memories of Richard. Good. Hold to them. I so miss the time when Richard and I used to walk along the beach. There was a cave. I have never ventured into it. Richard used to spin me yarns about this mysterious place. Tall tales from the sea. I did love them so. And I'm sure at least some were true. In one tale, the captain hid his treasure in a hiding place, so that on the day he stepped ashore for good, he would make his wife the finest gift. I could hear it in his voice. This tale was true. What treasure would a fisherman hide upon the beach? A promise. A wish. In the form of a rosary of pearl. I'll bid you good day, Goody Perkins. May God guide you, Mr. McRaith. Here it is. See this. No rosary. No rosary. That is frustrating. She'll be disappointed. It might have distracted her from the misery.
I don't see her essence. She's not home. I don't know where she could be. Her husband's grave, perhaps. The rosary. She had it all along. Why did she lie about it? I have a bad feeling about this. Like, very bad. Awful, in fact. To the ship. And hurry! Too late. Damn it. Maybe we were always too late. Maybe her destiny was already written. Maybe it can't be changed. <laughs> 